Chapter 21. The Conversation Continues. Laura, I exclaimed with interest, this conversation brings up a lot of questions, and if you would pardon my curiosity... Of course, my dear, she answered kindly. You can always ask, although I'm not in a position to teach you, I can nevertheless inform you. We both laughed at her remark, and then I asked, What about the issue of private property in the colony? For instance, does this house belong to you? She smiled and explained. As in the case on earth, private property is relative here. Our acquisitions are based on our work hours. Actually, the hour bonus is our money. We can acquire any commodity with these bonuses, which are earned by our own effort and devotion. The buildings, in general, represent a common heritage under the control of the government center. However, each spirit family may earn the right to one home, never more than one, by presenting 30,000 hour bonuses, which may be accumulated over a certain period of work. Our home was acquired through the persevering work of my husband, who came to the spirit realm long before me. We were separated physically for 18 years, though we were always united spiritually. Ricardo, however, didn't rest during that time. When he was brought to Nasalar after a period of extreme trouble, he immediately understood the need to work hard and he began to prepare our future nest. Then, when I arrived, we settled down together in this house, which he had so carefully organized. We were truly happy together. At the time, my husband taught me everything he had learned. I had gone through a time of intense struggle during my widowhood, because I was still a very young girl with children to raise, and had to work at a hard job to make ends meet. It was very difficult but I provided the offspring of our union with all the educational values at my disposal, although they too had to adapt to working hard at an early age. I understood later that my toilsome life had sheltered me from many dangerous temptations, and thus had ensured that I wouldn't have to experience the indecision and anguish of the umbral. The sweat of the body and dedicated involvement with an honest job are valuable resources for the defense and ascension of the soul. Meeting Ricardo again and building a new love nest made me feel as if I were in heaven. We lived together for many years in continual happiness, working on our evolution, growing closer and closer to each other, and taking part in the progress of our loved ones. After some time, Lysias, Aulanda, and Judette came to join us, and we were even happier than before. After a short pause, during which she seemed to be thinking deeply, she proceeded in a more serious tone. But the global sphere awaited us. Though our present was full of joy, our pasts demanded restitution in order for our future to be in harmony with the eternal law. We couldn't use our bonuses to pay our debts down on earth. That would require the honorable sweat of our bodies, the fruit of our labor. Due to our positive attitudes, our understanding of our pain-filled past was becoming clearer, and we realized that the law of rhythm demanded our return. These affirmations really impressed me. It was the first time in the colony that I had heard anything about past lives. Please excuse me, Laura, I exclaimed, interrupting her, but... I would like to say something. Forgive my curiosity, but until now, I haven't been able to find out anything about my past lives. Aren't I free of physical bonds? Haven't I crossed the river of death? Did you remember your past right after you got here, or did you have to wait for quite some time? I had to wait, she replied. First of all, we must rid ourselves of all physical impressions. The layers of the lower nature are extremely thick and we must be mentally balanced to be able to remember the past constructively. As a rule, we all have made tragic errors during the cycles of eternal life. Whoever holds the memory of having committed a crime thinks he is the unhappiest creature in the universe, and whoever remembers having been the victim of a crime thinks his own misfortune is the greatest. Therefore, only a soul who is very sure of itself is endowed with a special gift of spontaneous recollection. Others, however, are rightly prevented from remembering, and if they attempt to break such a law, they usually incur unbalance and insanity. 
But did your memory of the past come about naturally? I asked. Let me explain, she answered kindly. As my inner sight became clearer, I had vague recollections that disturbed me greatly. It just so happened that my husband was also experiencing the same thing, so we decided to consult Assistant Longobardo. After examining our impressions in detail, this friend sent us to the magnetizers at the Ministry of Elucidation. We were kindly received and started the process of going to the filing department, where everyone's private archives are stored. Specialists from the ministry advised us that we could read our memories for the next two years, as long as it didn't interfere with our job at the Ministry of Assistance. Our memories spanned a period of three centuries. The Director of Reconciliation Services wouldn't let us go back any farther, arguing that we wouldn't be able to bear the remembrance of those other times. And was reading them enough to help you master your reminiscences? I was curious to ask. No. The reading only gave us information. To our great surprise, after a long period of meditation in search of self-enlightenment, we underwent a series of psychic treatments aimed at penetrating the emotional realm of our memories. The spirits, who were specialists in the subject, applied magnetic passes to our minds, arousing certain latent energies. Only then were Ricardo and I able to master over 300 years of integral memories. Thus we learned how heavy our debts down on earth still were. And where is our brother Ricardo now? It would be a pleasure to get to know him, I affirmed, deeply impressed. Laura shook her head. In light of our observations concerning our past, we agreed to meet each other anew in the spheres of the planet. Indeed, we both had a lot of work to do. Thus, Ricardo departed three years ago. As for me, I will follow him in just a few days. I'm only waiting for Teresa's arrival in order to leave our family with her. And looking into the distance as though her thoughts were far away at the side of her daughter still on earth, Laura added, Eliosa's mother will be here shortly. Her passage through the umbral will only take a few hours due to the great sacrifices she has made since childhood. She has already suffered enough, so she won't need the treatments at regeneration. Thus, I will be able to teach her my obligations at the Ministry of Assistance and take my leave in peace. The Lord will not forget us.